I'm just going to um, give you really a very quick layout of what happened to, with Merev from, from the moment that Fundacion Meru sort of took uh, onwards with the, with the network. Yeah, as you probably, many of you know, but some of you are new to the network. The, the Merev network was created in 2010 and, 10, and it's really an informal network of national stakeholders that uh, were involved in the management of rabies diseases in their countries. Obviously, the, the, the mission is to foster rabies prevention, uh, prevention and control strategies, uh, and see how really to bring the 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 the, the rabies agenda more prominent in each of those countries. Um, I am showing really quickly here a geographical spread of the network. At the time, we have about uh, 15 members. And uh, as you see, North Africa, Middle East, uh, uh, South uh, Euro Asia, that were also part of the network. So it was a very diverse geographical spread. Um, really, uh, the idea of the network has been enhancing and facilitating access and delivery of information across the different countries and platforms. Identify opportunities where members can participate and provide expertise. Support the members in, in, in the various activities that can bring the agenda of rabies uh, uh, up, 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 up to, to the level. And, and that was some of them, the World Rabies Day. Support complementary and synergistic action with the key stakeholders. Um, in uh, 2018, in our last meeting, uh, we realized that the best way to move ahead was actually really synergizing with uh, the, the ongoing activities and obviously the understanding the the prominent uh, work that the Guard has been doing on rabbits. So understanding that the Merit was really a delivery platform that allows these many synergies in terms of the educational programs, networking, and, um, and different interventions. So at this time, we really thought that Fundacion Meru and the, Mer the, the Meracon, the Merev would become Meracom and really synergize uh, in with all the other uh, platforms that were already being handled by the GARC, which is the the uh, the Paracon and all the platforms that you might be that Terence will speak about it. In terms of the the different activities timeline, again. We started in 2013 with some activities on rabies as this, as this network evolved towards. And then we have a very, very initial meeting on 2013, where actually first synergies started to get with major stakeholders on rabies. Then we have the promotion of World Rabies Days in 2014 and ongoing. And then various meetings that we have, as you see with the Meta Networks, many of you will find yourself in the pictures where we were keeping that this momentum forward. At the end, the idea uh, personally was really seeing how we as, as a stakeholder keeping momentum for rabies was embedded in a more global umbrella of the strategy. That allows us obviously uh, to data sourcing. So many of you were are contributors and have been contributors of this data sourcing via different data that we uh, put together in, in the different meetings. And that, that data has been critically important, not only for understanding what is the epidemiology today on those given countries, a more global agenda and understanding what is the epidemiology and allow us to put together, all together, a certain number of publications. We have the, the, good, um, the good news from, from uh, that the, one of the last publications from the data that were, was emerging from uh, 2018 meeting, uh, came out and obviously this is an effort from GARD, the Survey University and many member, members that make that happen. And obviously you who brought this data in. So um, also the investment and other possibilities of educational programs as the decision support model for the prioritization of dog mediated rabies prevention and con control capacities uh, and that, uh, that Victor will explain later, but that has been also a collaboration with various stakeholders in order to make those tools available. So let's say that we have this time lab of activities from the very beginning and when we started actually to meet and see what we can pull together. And also we all understand the limitations we all have in order to bring these agendas forward. Uh, but we, everybody has a, like a role to play and we, uh, as Fundacion Media, we really believe that the role to play is to be a catalyzer and a facilitator, whatever our uh, um, contribution can be useful. Now the Meracon is moving forward. And uh, so we, we will, um, in 2019, we like to pro we have provided support on, on the various uh, uh, Saturday workshops, 
that were carrying in Nigeria and Sri Lanka, or the people will speak about this. And obviously, the 2020 plans for meetings to continue the, the, the discussion and see how those educational programs can, that obviously are, are guard on, we can support them in the dissemination and facilitations of the same. Um, and the programmation of other meetings in which we believe that we, our support can be contributable for the global objective of this. So the approach is really uh, from MEREF to MERACON is to continue on, a, on approach to close collaboration, to foster cooperation and mutual teams efforts, because we know our teams together can do better and go faster and long uh, and far away than, than if we're just doing things on a single out approach. And really um, trying to promote the educational programs that actually we just spoke about and in understanding how to better disseminate those programs that are existing and that, that are, uh, you know, somehow a, a great asset to be able to disseminate and see how people really can implement it at the, in, in their countries. See how potentially we can uh, call together for application of funding opportunities and obviously cultivate these public private partnerships that allow us to, to make uh, things happen one way or the other. So uh, I just wanted to give a sort of a, an, a global history of from MEREF to MERACON. And uh, we are, as Fundacion, obviously extremely happy to continue to be part of, of this and to contribute with you, part, all, all partners and, and country members, in, in the effort to bring the Ravis agenda, to keep the Ravis agenda momentum in any way we can. So thank you so much for your attention.